now we will see the most important that is the ampere's law and its application so that ampere's law it states that if we just consider that current carrying conductor so let's say for example this is nothing but the current carrying conductor and obviously which is the source of your magnetic field it is going to produce the magnetic field around it and which we will just determine its direction by that your right hand rule so this is how we can just show the direction for your magnetic field around it so now what we have to do that so in this case particularly we have to just evaluate the value for that your b bar dot dl bar so this is now what it states that the closed loop integration of that b bar over that entire closed path is nothing but the mu naught times the current enclosed by that path so definitely we are just going to evaluate the value of your b over this entire closed path so this is nothing but let one of that part which is nothing but dl or you can say that let's say this is the part dl over here so which is again having the same direction and again since you can say that so this b is same everywhere so because we are just considering a particular circle of that magnetic field so whose radius is fixed so b is also fixed and on that your complete closed loop we have to just evaluate the value of that b so by just evaluating that you will get so which is nothing but your mu naught into i and that is what we can say that it is nothing but your ampere's law so definitely you have to just make sure that whatever loop that you are selecting so it has to enclose so it has to enclose that your entire current carrying conductor yeah so if i just consider this only part so definitely and if the current is flowing through this entire surface yeah but if you consider this is a very small part so definitely it doesn't enclose the entire current it enclose only the fraction of current so that is what your ampere's law states that so that is again the integration of your b bar dot dl bar is nothing but your mu naught times the current enclosed by that path so these are the applications for your ampere's law that is again the magnetic field due to a current carrying your cylindrical wire so this is what we can say for your magnetic field which we can calculate so either again that is outside the surface where we can say that that r is either greater than a or for r that is less than a so for both the things definitely you can just calculate that value also for that variation of your b so this is what we can consider again considering a closed loop so for example for this r greater than a so for example for this r greater than a so we know that which is your b bar dot dl bar which is your mu naught into i so this b is fixed again this is your 2 pi r again which is mu naught into i so definitely we will say that so which is mu naught i upon 2 pi r so we can say this b is inversely proportional to r so for this r which is greater than a so you will find that your b is inversely proportional to r and the same thing you will get from this graph so it is decreasing that exponentially decreasing and for again we can say that for r less than a you will find that it is increasing so that is a directly proportional inside that your cylinder and outside it is again you can say that it is a inversely proportional over there so this is what we can say for the magnetic field due to a current carrying cylindrical wire in both the cases so again further so if i just say that for your inside for inside surface again you have to just calculate that your fraction of current so definitely you have to just take the fraction of current so definitely if i say that so this is your b bar dot dl bar which is nothing but your mu naught into i dash so again i will say that so this is b again that dl so dl which is nothing but its entire length so this is nothing but 2 pi r which is nothing but mu naught into i dash so now how we are going to calculate that i dash so definitely again that so i dash we are just going to calculate so this is the total current yeah so that total current again i will say that that is i again i will say that the total surface area so let's say which is nothing but again we are just saying that which is a pi a square again multiply by that your pi r square so by just putting these values and then simplifying the things so definitely this is mu naught and then this again your pi r square again pi a square you can say that 
B is proportional to a R. So this is directly proportional up to the radius you can say A for example for this case and after that you can say that it is decreasing. So this is how it works that magnetic field is getting varied.